Bonjour mes amis, aujourd'hui nous allons nous amuser extrêmement. Pourquoi Today we're going to have the best time. You want to know why Parce qu'on va aller à Paris ensemble. We're going to Paris. Follow me. Guys, I am so excited to be sharing something with you that is so close to my heart and actually personal. And I'm hoping that maybe, just maybe some of you would be interested in coming along to Paris with me. So this episode is dedicated to how to get the Parisian look and maybe going on a trip to Paris together. For those of you who are familiar with my channel, you know that a lot of what I do is inspired by my trips to France, my trips to Paris, and uh, many of you know that I not only lived in Paris, I've lived in the south of France, and it's a really big influence in my life and where a lot of my inspiration comes from. So today, what I wanted to do is help you achieve that Parisian look. So if you can't come to Paris with me, that's okay. Uh, you're still gonna be able to get the Parisian look in your home. It's a style that so many people ask me and hire me for to create in their homes. And it's really a timeless style. It's not some gimmicky look. It is a look that is very much desired. It is a look that is timeless and it is based in true architecture. And we're gonna get into it right now. And since so many of you ask today, I am wearing something that I wanted to explain. I am wearing this adorable sweater from The Collective by Nina Takish. That's essentially a website that um, I have basically created for a membership. And what does that mean? You pay a monthly membership and you get to choose as many outfits as you want that you just literally borrow and then return. You can keep them as long as you want. You can get as many pieces as you want. And it is fantastic and sustainable. Like this sweater that I love, how many times am I gonna wear a hot pink sweater Probably not that many, so I'm gonna wear it. I wore it today for you guys because I wanted to show you what's available on this fantastic site. All the items are picked by me. All the items are in this website. Um, essentially, I've partnered with um, different companies that aggregate all these outfits from different manufacturers. And this, for example, this sweater is from Cami. There are things from Rode, which I love. And you just, it's sustainable, guys. Like, we cannot be buying and buying and buying and buying and buying and ruining our earth. So I love the fact of the sustainability. I'm a huge proponent of buying used, as you guys know, and by used, I mean vintage, and being able to really um, elevate your style and not having to just flood your closet with clothes you're never gonna wear. So this sweater is by Cami. My jeans, actually I own these. These are Mother, and this is called the Enchanter Heel. And my shoes are today these fun platforms, which I almost fell and died in. In fact, I'm gonna insist that my, a videographer puts this little segment in um, of me almost dying, but they are quite comfortable and these are Valentino platforms. So I decided to partner with Trova Trips in order to be able to take you guys to Paris with me. It's a company that does these organized group events throughout the world, from Morocco to Paris. And I chose Paris because it is something that speaks to me. We're planning on going from September 12th through the 18th and staying in a gorgeous four-star hotel together. The itinerary of this trip is off the charts. I mean, we're literally going to Versailles, of course, the castle. We're gonna go on a day trip to Champagne and taste champagne together. We're gonna have these fun evening dinners. We are going to Le Marais to walk around, Notre Dame, Sacre Coeur. Like it's going to be a trip of a lifetime and there's a small group of us going. So if you're interested in signing up and joining and coming along on this uh, beautiful trip together, all the information is going to be in the description section below. And I really hope that some of you can make it because you know, I always think about living life for the experiences that we're going to have. There was a time when I was younger where I didn't want to spend my money on experiences because I thought, well, why would I spend my money on a massage when I can get, you know, a pair of um, sunglasses? Of course, I have wisened up. And for me, experiences are so critically important. Trips and discovering things and doing it with the people that love design or, and are as passionate about design as I am is really gonna be meaningful. So if you guys are at all inclined to come, the trip price is actually quite reasonable in my opinion. 
and it um, includes everything, all the excursions, all the dinners that we have together, everything is detailed and outlined. Um, the only thing you are responsible for outside of the trip price is your airfare. So if you've got miles, then I say book this trip and let's finally meet in Paris together. Parisian decor is the aesthetic of the moment. Unabashed appreciation for fine decor and finer details. The first very significant and tell-all sign of a Parisian decor is the Gilded Mirror. The Gilded Mirror was born in France. Are we, who are we kidding? It's a Louis mirror. It is ornate, it is gilded, it can be rococo from the time period, but it is gorgeous and it looks great in every home. I love putting gilded mirrors in any space, but above fireplaces are a very natural place to put them because that's what they're like in Versailles. And by the way, we could be together looking at ornate mirrors at Versailles together. I mean, can you guys believe this? I can't wait. Anyway, so these ornate mirrors look fantastic, whether they are floor leaning or whether they're above a fireplace. Look at these two images above fireplaces. They just look like they belong and they instantly elevate the space. Now, just because you have a mid-century home or a modern home does not mean you can't put in these elements. I think that's what gives it that extra designer look. And you will see in these photos that these homes are not necessarily French. You don't have to have French architecture, but you can have even a very industrial building and have the interiors be French, which really is chic. So one way to achieve that look that you can do yourself, literally DIY, and sometimes I bring in my painter and I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling like this room needs a help. What do we do? And then I literally go through my molding catalog from Superior Molding and I just pick all sorts of different moldings that we put on the pan that we put on the wall directly. It's a really inexpensive way of doing it. And since I know about design and molding, I'm able to do it, but you guys can easily do this. So you can create wainscoting, which is basically half of your wall only and go down, or you can do the full wall, or you can just do crown moldings. Crown moldings like dental moldings are really interesting. Just, you know, beautiful profiles. I would say three quarter inch panels are probably the safest way to go if you don't know exactly what you're doing. And you just place squares that are even throughout your room. And there you have it, a beautiful paneled French look. Another way to achieve this very romantic Parisian look would be to use soft and textured textiles. Soft textiles mean that you're using things like linen, you're using things like thin cashmeres and wools, or they could be faux cashmeres, and very lightweight wools. These fabrics tend to be very willowy and wispy and will give you that romantic feeling that you tend to see in Parisian apartments. This ultra beautiful Parisian bathroom has a scenery in the background that looks like the Jardin des Tuileries or a garden in Versailles. And what's important that I wanted to bring up here is the fact that we are using very sort of light window treatments. These are translucent treatments that look great in a room, especially in a bathroom that makes it certainly more elevated, that's not expected. And then throwing a beautiful throw on like a wooden bench is also quite Parisian. There is no surprise here, but marble elements in Paris are extremely prevalent. I mean, if you look at my house, I feel like half the house is marble. And that's because Parisian chateaus were basically built with marble head to toe. All the floors are marble, mosaics, large mosaics that create patterns. They are um, elements that really withstand the test of time in terms of durability and in terms of beauty. And therefore, if you bring in marble elements into your home, not necessarily ones that are trending, but just, you know, old school marbles, you are going to create, especially in a fireplace, that Parisian look. The more ornate the marble in a fireplace, the more Parisian it's going to be. And of course, let's not forget the most important part, you guessed it, wood floors. The most important element, in my opinion, um, that really defines a Parisian space are the floors. The flooring in every Parisian apartment is wood. It is very unlikely that you're gonna find anything other than wood. And the reason is that these woods, they're three quarter inch plank, or in fact, in Paris, they're more of a one inch or one inch and a half planks. These are real wood planks that are cut and they are basically laid in two different patterns. A lot of people ask me about what the difference is between these two patterns, and I'm gonna explain it to you here very quickly. Two patterns in France that are used throughout 
apartments and we're gonna show them to you. There's one that's called the herringbone pattern, which I have in my home and I couldn't imagine living without it. It just makes me happy every time I see it. And of course, the chevron pattern. Chevron and herringbone are the two most elevated floor patterns that you're going to see. And I would say 90% of the apartments are chevron and herringbone. The rest would be probably straight planks. The difference between herringbone and chevron is quite simple. Herringbone is intertwined. It takes a little bit of more, well, both of them are actually very labor intensive, which is why people in the US tend to forego them and they just do straight planks. But I would definitely invest the money in a chevron or a herringbone pattern. I tend to love both of them equally, even though I tend to do herringbone a little bit more. Chevron is essentially very symmetrical as you can see from this photo it doesn't intersect it creates that chevron pattern that you're used to basically v's that line up perfectly and herringbone does intersect throughout the floor both of them gorgeous both of them to die for another trick of the french is that they are really good at and you guys can be easily good at this if not better is being able to be eclectic with your mix of furniture and going to um, flea markets and going to estate sales. What I mean by that is if when you look at these photos, you will see that nothing is matchy. Everything is individual and finding pieces that are antique is very important to place next to pieces that are new. You don't wanna buy everything new and you don't wanna buy everything old because if it's everything is old, it just looks too dated. And if everything is new, it just looks like a catalog. So I insist one of my first basic rules of design is to never source from the same place, but also never source from the same age. So if you have something new, you must put something old next to it. In my um, family room right now that I'm sitting, this room has changed like 65 times because as an interior designer, I can't stop changing things around. But this is a vintage egg chair. It's actually falling apart at its seams, but that's why I like it, next to a brand new standing floor lamp. And why do I do that? Well, because I want the history. I want something that's um, old. I want something that's weathered. Sometimes I like even seeing rust stains um, next to something that is fresh and new that I normally couldn't find at an estate sale. So, you know, there's a little bit of um, push and pull and there is this dynamic, this ability to just make sure that you bring things together and make them more homogenous. Thank you for joining me on this very fun episode of The Red Elevator. I hope you had fun and I hope to God that you guys can make it to Paris so that we can have finally some face-to-face -face time. See you again next week here on The Red Elevator.